This is the electric charger thing. This is the generator. I thought it was a alternator because of that little fan. But this is the generator. We have to see if it has power to it. We tried to run some tests, but they didn't really work very well. So now we're gonna break into it and get parts out of it to see what kind of part we need. I'd like to test it one more time, see if we can get it to actually show some voltage. It's kind of a dangerous thing, this end right here, see? Why is that? Because look, it spins. I got my, I pinched my hand last night, remember? No. It did, no, no, no. it pinched me. But anyway, this is what we're going to be working on tonight, this beautiful magneto. Beautiful magneto. Yeah, well, they don't have magnetos in vehicles anymore. It would simplify things if they did. I don't even know what a magneto is. Magneto is a simple motor. You pass a wire across a magnet and it creates an electrical charge. Oh. And it makes it go? The same principle it's... sort of as an electric motor. Oh. This is actually a combination uh, starter motor and generator. It can do both. Um, simple elect electric motors can either generate electricity or they can work off of electricity to, to create work. Huh. Old backhoe, 1960s, early 60s technology, generator instead of an alternator. They'd use a generator and then because the generator provides a constant source of DC power that the engine and battery couldn't use all the time. Then you had to have what's known as a voltage regulator to regulate that power coming in so that it's properly distributed and used. Otherwise, you burn things up. Can I scrape the paint off? That's what I want This, to do. I think we might just get a new one of those. I just wanted to play with that tool. Yeah, but first I'd like to see if we can actually get some juice out of this thing and before we tear it up tear but into how it how are you going to do that since we're i don't know let me mess with the meters again and see what we can do okay so we've we cleaned up the commutator and the brushes a little bit on the inside of this generator i can't get it to generate any kind of electricity hooking it up to the meter i don't know if it's my meter or maybe i'm doing something wrong there are two poles on here one is for the armature and one is for the field coils if i take the power from the battery here on the truck and I apply it to the armature it should start this motor like it would any electric motor and then that'd be a quick and dirty way to see if there's something wrong with it but let's try it out here and see what we get we'll ground this to the frame so that'll take care of our negative let's try it on Armature again. There it goes. A little bit. Oh. Uh, that's cool. That's really super cool. Okay, so it's operating as a motor, although it didn't. It doesn't have the torque I expect for a starter motor. Now, a way to test this to, to make sure that it works. Okay, so we know that it works as a motor. Mm -hmm. The way to test it to see if our, I think it's our fields are bad for generating electricity as a generator. What we need to do is while that's still spinning, we oh, need to take stop it. this piece right here and touch it to yeah. the to the field pole and, and see if we can get it to stop it. You want to try that for me? Okay. Here, I'll do this part. Mm. You handle the you handle the button. This. Yeah, keep the button. Go ahead. Let's get it going. Get it going full speed. Keep that button depressed the whole time. Hey! It did. It, it did it right. It did it right. Let's do it again. Make sure. Okay. Let's do it again. Full speed. And it stopped it. Yay! Okay. So uh, there must be something wrong with my meters or the way I'm reading them or something because this appears to be working okay. I don't know how much electricity. We don't know how much. Uh, 
uh, voltage it's generating, but apparently it'll generate some voltage. So that's good news. Good news. Okay, so we sort of cleaned it up a little bit. <laughs> sort of cleaned it up a little bit. We really need to get in there and do more work because we just did a sort of a quick job on it to test it. But uh, it is generating, it appears it'll generate electricity. Don't know how much because I can't get the meters to work with it. I don't know why. It's weird. But uh, it says it's only generating half a volt, and I know that can't be right. <laughs> At least I hope. I hope it's not right. So, there we did. And then Robber, why don't you show what you did? I, what I did you do in crafts today? I cleaned the oil filter up. I cleaned this oil filter up. It is a bypass oil filter, and the older technology, it only pushes, with, with the older technology, it only pushes about 10% of the oil through at a time, as opposed or as compared to today's oil filters that go all the way through, right? 100%. 100% through as it filters. But I guess it's okay that it does it at like 10% because eventually 100% filters through. Better than nothing. And I guess, <laughs> but I don't know. But anyway, this thing was really, really nasty down in there. Um, lots of thick, gross oil, but I was able to clean it up decently nicely. But it, it turned out okay, I guess. It looks great. And so now I'm just gonna put it back together. Thank you. <laughs> I took it apart myself except for a little bitty bit of help from Egypt because I couldn't get the top little bolt off. You did fine. But it's really fun. I think that's my favorite thing is using that that uh, bench grinder thing. I think that's my very favorite. <laughs> it does a good job of cleaning stuff, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think we ought to order new, new brushes and I wish I had a way to test voltage on this. Okay, folks, so the uh, replacement parts came in for the generator, and so I'm going to go ahead and work on that now, get this thing painted and put back together. We'll see how we, see how we do here. I got the end cap off and uh, about to separate this. We need to replace a bushing. I'm sorry. We need to replace a bushing, a bearing, and a couple of brushes, so... And then we'll uh, obviously need to paint the outside and make sure everything's pretty. So this armature was pretty dirty and we cleaned it up some, uh, actually as best we could. And we, you know, took a wire wheel to the, to the commutator here, but it needs to be sanded and cleaned up some more. But the first order of business is to get this armature separated from the rest of this body. <clears throat> there is a little a flange here that holds the bearing in place and uh, we've got to be able to remove this as well. So the uh, order of business here is to take this bolt off, remove this flange or at least loosen it, turn this upside down and then knock that shaft down through this and try to get this apart. Got this in here so this little pulley and fan can hold a little better. So I have to twist. There we go. There are three little screws on a flange right here that need to come off. I'm just gonna use this little grinding bit and uh, see if we can just grind the heads of those screws off and then we'll replace them. Well, and we're destroying a bit. <sighs> Some days. I have an old beater wood chisel that I keep around for such, <laughs> I abuse it for things like, on doing things like this. One of these days I'll sharpen this thing and restore it, but right now it's coming in handy for this kind of stuff. Right there, see if we can just chisel it. We got her. There we go. And a little screw head just pops.
popped out. Give it a couple of wraps, hold the armature. Oh. And I would think that would torn fall out. So I'm gonna break this aluminum casing, housing, in in plate, whatever you call it. There we go. It's moving. Oh, and there it is. All right. Fan cover and fan and pulley are good. Uh, casing is in good shape. There's the bearing housing. It holds the bearing. And it just you know, needs to be cleaned up. We'll get this little screw piece out of here. Okay, and so to remove the bearing on this, um, we use the same technique. We just sort of support the bearing with something and then tap on the, uh, on the armature shaft. We're getting there. Little by little. There we go. And as you can see, this is not a sealed bearing, <clears throat> which is why Originally, this little oil port was needed, but now with the sealed bearing that we'll be putting in, it's no longer needed. So that's good. Always good when you can reduce your maintenance. So let's get this thing cleaned up, get the new bearings in there, and uh, see what we can do for this. Get this sanded smooth, ready to receive new brushes. Yep, Just squirt all the gunk off. You'll remember these screws uh, I had to sort of chisel out of there so I could uh, separate the bearing and this plate from the armature. Well, I went ahead and replaced them with some hex head screws, same threads and everything. And then that way, in case this thing ever needs to be serviced again, uh, instead of trying to get in there at an angle, you know, with the screwdriver and take the chance of boogering up the armature, um, it'll be a little easier we can get in there with a wrench uh, and do it uh, and uh, get rid of that flathead get rid of of my opinion is get rid of flathead screws whenever and wherever you can because uh, they're, they're just too hard to to work with particularly when they're old and stuck like this Unwrapping a present. Unwrapping a shiny new present. It's brand new. Sort of. Kind of a little brand new. New to us. And Dino will feel better. I know. I'm really kind of... This is really kind of fun. Now, we slip this over this. That's correct. And then you'll arrange the brushes after. Pull these out like that. Yeah. Stick it over there. Clear the shoes. There you go. Just like that. Now we put them. Where do these go? They go in there. They um, don't. They don't. Well, they don't screw down. No, like... they don't. They're just held in by tension. Can you? Oh. If you hold that for a second, I'll show you how one goes in, and then you do the. Oh, other. I don't have to hold that. It's on there. <laughs> I was trying to hold okay. it. Pull. Oh. It takes to pull that. Can you get that up close? Can you see that in there? Wait. Hold on. Take that back out. See that? Yeah. Okay, pull that back. Slide that in there. Hopefully it'll go. Aye. No. 
does not want to cooperate. Let's see. There. And you turn it in like that? Just like that. No. And like it slides. This. Yeah, but it slides underneath. What? Move your finger. Slides underneath there like that. Oh. So, and then the spring holds it in place. See. Ah. See here. Okay. But, so where's the spring? Oh, I see it. The spring. But this thing is too low. It's okay. Oh no. All right. You want to do it? Uh huh. And then you'll notice the brushes are too low for the commutator so we need to lift the body up and they'll just go ahead and lift it up gently and they'll should there you go not too far yep snapped right into place just how like, come that one's longer look it doesn't look longer to me yeah really. sticking out past that metal piece there's more sticking out on that one than that one. Oh, i see did i put them in wrong no um it's just the way that these uh stator pieces are built this one, the construction on this one's slightly different because it needs to be insulated. Oh. And this one, so this one, it just looks different. Okay. Now what do we do? Okay, yeah, just line up that pin there, with the slot there. And flip it over. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't let that armature fall out. Yeah, huh? you got it. Just stand it on its end. Okay, the pin's lined up, so you're good. All right. There you go. We'll test the uh, generator. We've uh, again, we've got it grounded, and we'll touch the positive uh, from the battery to the A for armature terminal. That should cause it to spin as a motor, uh, like all generators are motors. And then, while it's still spinning freely, we'll remove the positive terminal and touch it to the uh, from A, and we'll move it to F for field coil. That should stop the motor. Uh, which will tell us that it operates very well as a generator. So, here we go. There it goes. Spinning as a motor. Doing quite well. There's stuff in there spinning around. Okay. When I take it off, it spins freely. But if I quickly switch the a terminal to the power from the a terminal to the f terminal it should have the opposite effect and act almost like as an electric brake so let's try it oh i can't reach it <laughs> let's try that again oh, let's try it from here okay and test nice do it again. Very nice. Got a working generator.